Najib Razak's SRC International trial will proceed as planned on April 15th. After two days of deliberating last week, the federal court dismissed Najib's three appeals today. By the Malaysian Insight, this is The People vs. Najib Razak. Follow us into the courtroom where it all happens. I'm Patrick Teo. Today, the federal court dismissed Najib's three appeals. The first was a gag order on the media and public discussing the merits of the case. The second was a request for additional documents from the prosecution. And lastly, the transfer certificates for the seven charges he is facing. On the last appeal, the defense wants the SRC case to be heard at the Sessions Court, saying it should start there, not the High Court. A panel of seven judges led by Chief Justice Richard Malanjum also ruled in favor of the prosecution's appeal. The Attorney General Tommy Thomas had appealed against a court order to show the appointment letter of Prosecutor Suleiman Abdullah. Najib, dressed in a brown suit and a matching tie, sat in the dock and appeared calm during the hearing. He did not speak to reporters afterwards. These appeals have caused at least four delays in the trial, which was initially scheduled to start in February. After a two-month delay, it only started in April. To know more about what the delays were and a recap of the case thus far, listen to our bonus episode, A Hearing About the Trial. While Najib was at the federal court, his wife Rosma Manso was slapped with her 20th criminal charge at the Kuala Lumpur Sessions Court. <laughs> The latest charge for corruption relates to the solar hybrid project for rural schools in Sarawak. She is accused of soliciting 5 million ringgit from Jepa Holdings Syndrome Burhad director Saidi Abang in December 2016 to help the company acquire the project. Previously, she was charged with two counts of graft for the same case. Separately, she is also facing 17 charges of money laundering and tax evasion involving 7 million ringgit. The flamboyant Rosmar has kept a low profile since her husband's fall from grace. However, in a rare moment this morning, she spoke to the media at the courthouse. But people choose to listen to all the lies, to all the, you know, the and true stories that was being told, that was being smeared towards me and my husband. So we just have got to go through it. And um, unfortunately, the people suffer because of all this, because we all choose to believe in lies. Maybe lies are more interesting, you know, more savoury and more... You're listening to The People vs. Najib Razak. This podcast project is overseen, written and mixed by Revati Supermaniam, Yapik Kwan and Yvonne Lim with help from Bead Hong. Other recordings from the court are by Ravin Palanisami, Jeremy Singh and Hasmiza Hassan. I'm Patrick Teo. <laughs>